took delivery of this box, so I thought I'd come on here and make a video to show you what's inside. Stick around to see what it is. Hello folks, my name is Lee Townsend and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a product review of a guitar by a company called Enya Music. Now, Enya Music got in touch with me a couple of weeks ago and asked if I'd like to check out their new Nova Go carbon fibre smart guitar. So, a lot of you will probably remember a couple of months ago when I reviewed the Lava Me 3, which was another carbon fibre smart guitar that was sent to me. And uh, I don't want this video to be a direct comparison because the price point between these two guitars is so far apart. They can't be directly compared to each other, but there's going to be certain similarities and certain things that I will want to mention comparing the two um, with regards to everything going on. So before I get stuck into this video, I'd like to first ask you that if you're not already subscribed to this channel, why not? Uh, yeah subscribe by hitting the subscribe link down below if you're not already. If you're into guitar and music related content, I try to post every week and if you subscribe, it really does help the channel grow and it helps me get more views because the YouTube algorithm and everything, it costs you nothing to do, so um, jump on there and do that. And if you've got any questions whatsoever on any of these videos, comment section is always open and uh, I'll always try and get back to you if you've got any valid questions about anything that I'm talking about. So. I've waffled enough about the YouTube stuff. The guitar itself is this thing. Well, this is the case, actually, but um, it's like a hard and soft case, bit of a rubbery kind of effect to it. Uh, it's a very nice little case, and it's very compact. It feels nice. Uh, and this strap, after watching a couple of other videos on this guitar, this strap doubles up as the actual guitar strap as well. But I don't want to spend too long looking at the case, so I'm going to open her up and let you have a look at the guitar. So, it's got this uh, Velcro strap which holds the thing down in place. I've gone for the black version. Um, look at that, I think it's a really nice looking thing. And um, some things worth noting straight away uh, with regards to design is it's got this zero fret design which means that it's got a fret number zero. Uh, most guitars, they go from the nut to the first fret and uh, the strings sit on the nut above the fretboard but this one has a nut and then the strings sit on the zero fret if that makes sense I don't know if that's a design choice based on an actual use thing or if it just looks cool I'm not sure um, this version of the guitar is the electro acoustic they actually make two versions of this and there's a completely acoustic version and an electro version which uh, has this knob on the top which controls the effects and stuff and also there's the USB-C charging port and the jack socket in the bottom but um, I'm going to set the guitar down while I show you what's in the case just so that I can get the case out of the way uh, once I've showed you what's inside there's no need for it to be on my knee so with the guitar comes a spare set of strings which is really cool of them to include that what else have I got? I've got this pack with some bits in, so I'll show you what's inside. There is, um, they sent me a cable as well, which was in the box, um, like just a jack-to-jack -jack guitar cable, um, which I haven't got here, but they did send that. I've got a USB-C to normal USB charging cable. I've got these little strap holders, so this bit attaches to the strap button on the guitar, and then you attach the strap from the case onto these little things. So that's how the strap works. I've got um, a branded microfiber cleaning cloth in this little box. Uh, it's branded with the Enya logo on there. And another set of strings. I don't know if this is just because my version's a YouTube demo or what. why there's two sets of strings, I'm not sure. And some people would probably be quite excited about this. An Allen key, because I noticed on the guitar it has what appears to be a truss rod cover, which suggests that you can adjust the action uh, or the, the bow of the neck, which a lot of people complained about the Lava Me 3 not having that. So um, it appears that we can adjust the truss rod on this guitar. So that's all that's in the case. So I'm going to set that down and show you through the actual guitar itself. So pop that down there. 
grab the guitar. And as I said, I really like the way this thing looks and So because this thing is quite a lot smaller than the Lava Me 3, the sound is a little bit thinner. It's got the same sort of characteristics with regards to sound, and I'm guessing that's the, just the carbon fiber, the sound of it. And I actually warmed to that sound quite a lot, and uh, for quite a while I was taking the Lava um, to my band rehearsals with my acoustic band that I play with. And the guys in the band were saying how good it sounds for, for such a small thing, and obviously for an unusual um, material to make the guitar out of. Um, but I really like the way the thing feels. I'd say straight out the box, this has got better action than the than the Lava Me. It plays very nicely. And the fact that it's so small, so compact, means that you can throw it in the car. You can just have it with you all the time. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I live in Spain and cars get bloody hot here. So the fact that it's made of carbon fiber means that it won't warp and crack in the weather, the same as the lava. And I think that's quite a cool feature. And also I play a lot of weddings and private events and quite often I'll have to be set up three or four hours before my set starts. And it would be nice to have this guitar in the car to work on new ideas and just have to strum along while I'm waiting around to play. So um, I quite like that. And as I said, this version is the electroacoustic version. And I said at the beginning of this video, I didn't want to compare this too much to the Lava Me 3 because of the price point. This thing costs like 260 euros. That's a good thousand euros cheaper than the Lava Me 3. So there's going to be obviously some shortcomings with regards to this. And one of those being it doesn't have the touchscreen. And obviously the touchscreen made for such a great user interface it's so intuitive and easy to use. And this thing is obviously gonna be a little bit more, I don't know, it's gonna take some more practice to get used to. So if you press and hold the, the big knob there, the light round the, round the control lights up green, and that is literally just uh, lifts the sound. There's a little speaker inside here so that completely acoustically it can amplify the effects and stuff, so. If I press it again, it'll turn blue, which means reverb, I think. Um, actually, that's a delay now. I think I've changed that in the app. I had a little go with this earlier on just so that I knew what I was talking about in the video. So I think by default, the blue one is actually reverb. I don't know why this has changed, but... Um, and then there's like a cyan color, which is like a lighter blue, and that... That appears to be a little bit of reverb. And we're going to plug it in in a minute so that you can hear how it sounds properly. At the moment, the microphone's up here, so uh, you won't be able to hear it as well. Uh, and then this purple colour, it's like a funky um, phaser effect. And then if we press it again, we go back to green. Um, so... As I said, I'm gonna plug the thing in just to see, uh, to show you how it sounds plugged in through the PA. So I've got a little, little cable down here that's trapped under the, under my chair and under the case a little bit. So I'll plug it in. So you should be able to hear now how it sounds plugged in. sounds quite funky through the thing so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly show you the app of 
this guitar. So if I open that up, it should be able to show you how the whole thing works. So when you open the app up, you get the option of which guitar to connect. So that's another guitar that they make that you can see on screen there, which I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it looks pretty cool. And then if we swipe across, so that's the one that we're playing, that's the Nova Go. Um, so if I click connect, it'll search, and then I can jump in to the device. So you get the different effects here. So while we're synchronizing, there's a little bit of interference coming through the, the thing, but I mean, it's easier just to do that using the control. I'm not sure what's going on there with that uh, effect. Let's go on to EFX2. I don't know if this is sets of effects or what. Let's have a look. So EFX2. It's like a funky thing. Hang on. Obviously, I need to have more of a play of this. But this is just a quick overview video, really, isn't it? So, um, what else can the thing do? If we go to create, um, I noticed before when I was having a little mess. There's a mixer there, obviously, between the Bluetooth, the line out, and the effect level. I think, actually, you can play backing tracks and stuff through the guitar on this. I'm not going to go into that today. I'll do future videos on how the thing works, because I think it's a little bit more complicated than the lava was. So if we go to EQ, yeah, obviously, you can uh, change the EQ here of the output. So... <laughs> The, yeah, line out and the acoustic plus which is the built-in speaker and then in effects we've got some reverb there which is switched on echo chorus overdrive distortion wah and compress compressor which is pretty cool I've got to hear what that overdrive sounds like while we're here let's give it some drive while we're there bit of tone level a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. I mean, I'm not really sure, again, what the use case for this is, but uh, it sounds pretty cool. And for, for such a, a small budget, I think this guitar is well worth what they're charging for it. And um, after speaking to a few guitarist friends of mine about the, the Lava Me 3, most of them kind of said, amazing technology, really, really love what they've done with the touch screen and the, the way the effects are built in and the way it, everything about it is great. But if they were spending 1200 quid on a guitar, probably wouldn't be that one, just because it's very, very expensive to pay for a lot of things which could be considered gimmicky. If you're already uh, a gigging musician, you're more likely to spend that kind of money on just a standard acoustic. You could get like a lower end Taylor or you could get a Sheeran by Loudon for that kind of money, you know? Um, so this thing is a lot more usable for the money. And if you've got um, a child who's wants to learn how to play the guitar, for example, this would be perfect for them because of the shorter scale length, uh, great for traveling and stuff, and really perfect for learning on. It's uh, It plays really nicely. It's not like buying a 100 quid thing from Amazon or whatever that doesn't play well and it starts chopping their fingers up and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to pretty much leave this video here so that I'm not turning it into a a half an hour long extravaganza. But my initial impressions of this guitar are that I'm rather impressed with it and I would actually spend this money on this guitar to have in the car or whatever, like I said. Um, not sure I would gig it. I've not heard it through my proper gigging PA system, but I do intend to <laughs> plug it in and see what it sounds like through my gigging setup 
just to see if I can use it in any way. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll leave a link below. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I probably should mention that Enya Music did send me this guitar free of charge to keep, but they haven't told me what to say about it. And so all my opinions are my own. Um, they've not paid me to make this video or anything like that. It's just uh, exactly what I think about it. Um, so yeah, do with that information what you will. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you are subscribed by hitting that subscribe link down below. How many times can I say subscribe? Yeah, um, hit the thumbs up if you like this video and get in touch with me in the comment section if you wanna ask me any questions or anything like that. Until next time, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.